Infinite Campus is our official gradebook. To view your grades, click on the Grades menu on the left-hand side. Across the top, you will notice that you have each one of the different terms. We are going to look at Quarter 1. You will see that each class has its own section. As we scroll down, you can see there is a section for each one of your classes. Let's look at what we see in each one of these sections. At the top is Progress Grade. This is only for our students who are taking a high school course. For the rest of our students, the quarters are broken down into two mini quarters, grade A and grade B. These two grades will be averaged together along with a semester exam in order to come up with the student's final semester grade. You'll notice here that quarter grade A is in bold black. This tells us that this is the final grade for this quarter. We can look at quarter grade B and it shows us that it's in progress. To see a breakdown of all the assignments in this quarter, you want to click on the arrow next here to the quarter grade. This will open up now a page where you can see all of your grades. At the top, you will see the quarter grade A. Then underneath, you see the quarter grade B, your semester exam, and again, your overall semester grade. Notice that we have several categories here within each quarter. At Mulaski, we have two categories. Formative, which is 25% of a student's grade, and this is the practice assignments, the assignments where students are learning and preparing for their assessments, which are the summative category and are worth 75% of a student's grade. When you come over to the far right, you will see a plus sign next to each one of the category's percentages. You also can see that you see the point value here of how many points they have earned out of the total amount of points along with that percentage. If you click the plus sign next to the percentage, you will then see a drop down of all of the assignments that the student has taken. Notice to the far left, you see the title of the assignment with a date and a description of the name. The date helps you know which day you can find this assignment on the weekly agenda. In case you're missing it or need to refer back to it, you know exactly where to go to look for it. It tells you the date that it's due. There is a status column here that we're gonna talk about in just a minute. And then over to the far right, you'll see where it tells you the points that you earned, the total points for that assignment, and the percentage. I want to talk about this status column because this can be very confusing. Notice on these assignments that you see that it says turned in for all of the assignments. The word turned in does seem like it should mean just that, that the student turned in the assignment. Many of our teachers are using Canvas for their lessons and assignments this year. When grades transfer from Canvas to Infinite Campus, this status column doesn't always do what we want it to do. Notice when we look at these three assignments, they all say turned in. However, when we come over here to the far right to look at the scores, notice that this one says five out of 10 and it's a 50%. At Mulaski, we use equal distribution of grades and when a student doesn't turn in an assignment for an assessment, like doesn't take the test, they automatically get the minimum F, which is equal distribution of 50%. So most of the time when you see a 50% as a grade or a zero as a grade, it means the student did not complete this assignment. I realize this can be confusing when you see the words turned in. But again, the status column is not the best place to look for your grade. The best place is right over here at the percentages. So let's look at some few other examples. You'll notice on this class here, you see the word missing and it's a zero. That means the student did not turn it in and we know that because they have a zero out of 30 points. You will not necessarily see the words missing on every single assignment that a student has not done. So again, a score of a 0% or a 50% is the best way to indicate that a student has not turned anything in for this assignment. You'll also notice, let's look at another example. Sometimes you will see some comments here that teachers have written for students. You also can find comments in Canvas if your teacher is using the Canvas gradebook. So again, to get back to the first page, you would just click on the back button and this will bring you back to where you can see all of your grades. It's very important to look at your grades, very important to look at the breakdown of each one of your assignments and if you see anything in your grades that does not look right, you need to reach out to your teacher and email them. Keep in mind, if your teachers are using Canvas for assignments, it can take up to 24 to 48 hours for those grades and scores to transfer over here into Infinite Campus. 
There are two other options over here that you can look at. Gradebook updates. This will show you a list of the most recent updates that teachers have made to your assignments. You also can come in and click on assignments. Notice here that it says missing and current term. When you click on the missing option, it's only going to show the assignments that have that status of missing. But again, I want to just make sure we really understand this. That does not mean that these are your only missing assignments. So this is not the best way to come and check for missing assignments. The best way again is to go into your classes and actually look for your zeros and your fifties. And the best way to not have to look for missing assignments is to make sure that you're turning in all of your work. And again, if you have any questions, please check with your teacher.